I'm going to be helping you guys get every single obtainable badge that you can get in Royal High. But before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Dior Army. Turn on notifications so you nurse video. And also make sure to use star code Dior in every person you are supreme you. We are on the road to 150,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate if you guys to hit that subscribe button. And now, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first badge that you guys can get is called The Enchantress. And basically, how you can get this badge is that you need to go to one of your local stores and get the Enchantress toy. And when you re you get the toy, you have to go on Roblox and redeem the code. And when you redeem it and join Rail High, on the right side of your screen, you should get a badge and also you should should also get the mood changing necklace as well and then the next badge that you can get is you found the call me bob toy and if you find the call me bob toy in one of the celebrity series 2 mystery boxes you can actually get the call me bob ring and i do actually have the call me bob ring so let me just show you guys what it looks like so let me just search up call me bob ring so yeah you get this ring right here and you also get a badge as well and I also have the mood changing necklace. So um, yeah, these are the two items that you guys can get if um, you actually find the toy and redeem the code on Roblox. So here are the two items and you also get a badge as well. And now the next badge you can get is called Always I Wanna Be With You. And basically this is the very rare badge that you can get from the wheel. And how you can get it is by spinning wave one. And if you land on the unicorn, if you land on the unicorn right over here, you can actually have a chance at getting the unicorn horn and if you get the unicorn horn you get this badge and this is honestly very very rare i've never actually gotten it so hopefully we can get it so let me just spin real quick and click prize wave one so hopefully in this video it can happen maybe let's see guys let's see are we gonna land on it um fingers crossed okay we didn't land on it guys we landed on the dragon instead and we got 300 diamonds because I already have the flip hat, okay? So, um, yeah, we sadly couldn't get it, but maybe you guys have it already. And hopefully, if you don't have it, you can have a chance in getting it in the future. So, fingers crossed to you guys. Alright, so the next badge that you guys can get is the Writer's Award badge. And how you can get this badge is by going over to Twitter and following Royal High Folks. And basically, they have this little, like, um google docs that they open before a brand new halo is in the fountain and you guys can actually apply to get your halo in the fountain and if your story gets accepted by real high you can get the writer's bracelet which is an item that you can get in real high and you can also get a badge as well so that is the writer's award badge and the next badge to get is the alien emoji badge and how to get this badge is by going over to the trading hub and you have to um put in the code and the code i'm pretty sure it is called um okay they changed it and now it is called 1225 which is christmas day so that is the code if i'm wrong i'm gonna sh um, put it on the screen what the actual code is but i'm pretty sure that is what it is i feel like the last code before was called area 51 but they did end up changing it so yeah um if you guys put in the code and go to the secret area in the trading hub that is how you guys can get this badge now the next badge is um the element badge the element that i have right now if i go to my planner is currently okay i have the fire element and also the water element and how to get these two element badges is by going over to um your journal and in your journal it should show you like um your sparkly star achievements and um if you go down you can actually unlock your levels and the more levels you unlock the more um the more elements that you can basically unlock basically so if you joined real high um there's this little like welcome area and it just like guides you through it and if you actually complete an element you can get your elemental power so um yeah that is how you do that and the next badge is the little ocean badge and it has a lightning bolt on it and how you can get this badge is by going over to the lighthouse that is in um that is in diamond beach so i'm gonna show you guys where the lighthouse is all right guys so here is where the lighthouse is it is all the way up here 
and there are some guides on YouTube on how to get this badge and I can't show it in this video because it will take like a pretty long time so yeah you guys can just search up on YouTube how to complete the lighthouse quest and then you can get that badge and I'm gonna tell you guys how to get the next badge the next badge is the Royal High Welcome Package and you can get the Royal High Welcome Package badge by going over to the school and if you actually join the school for the first time it gives you this welcome package you have to go over to poppy and poppy will give you your dorm key and you can just like go in your dorm and stuff and you can just basically start off royal high by getting the welcome package so yeah that is basically how to get this one and now the next badge is the perfect attendance badge so to get the perfect attendance badge we have to go over to our dorm Okay, so we're going to teleport to our dorm. Okay, so we are here, and now I'm just going to open up my dorm with my dorm key. Okay, so now I'm going to go inside my dorm, and all you have to do is to go over to your computer right here, and you just have to log into Royal High every single day for 365 days. So if you guys can see right here, this is a little um, laptop and then click on the student portal right here and then you have to click on your attendance and then as you guys can see I also got some diamonds and you guys can um, actually get the perfect attendance badge by logging in every single day for 365 days. Um, I'm not really like good at like doing stuff for a pretty long time. I'm not that consistent so I'm probably never going to get the badge. But hopefully you guys can get it. I actually believe in you guys and I know you guys can do it. So yeah, that is how you guys can get the perfect attendance badge. And another way to get it, you guys don't have to go to your real high dorm. You can also do it by going over to the apartments and also going over to com your computer that is in your apartments as well. Now the next badge you guys can get is the Forbidden Passageways badge. So to get the Forbidden, forbidden Passageways badge, um, you have to like do this little like code combination. The combination is really, really different for everybody else. I'm letting you guys know. Don't search up a YouTube video or anything because the badges, I mean, the um, code is different for everyone. Everyone thought the code was like one, two, three, like four, five, or something like that, or one, two, three, four. But no, it is not. Um, the badge is different for everyone. I mean, the code is different for everyone. And this is how you guys can do it. Just like, like click on this little wall that is by the chimney. And there is a combination code that you guys can do to unlock this little area. And if you go through the wall, you can actually get a new, a secret item that some people actually don't have. And it is called the paper airplane. And when you get the paper airplane, you can actually like have fun with it and stuff and send people notes. And yeah, so I sadly do not have that badge yet. But congratulations to those of you that actually have the badge and have found your secret combination code. And the next badge you guys can get is the completed 50 quests, completed 100 quests, completed 1,000 quests. Um, right now, I actually have completed... Um Okay, so guys, I got this badge yesterday, actually, and I have completed 2,500 quests in Royal High so far. So yeah, you, the most amount of um, quests that you guys can do, you can actually go above 10,000, but um, I think the badge stops at um, 10,000 quests. So um, yeah, that is how you guys can get those badges. You just have to do some um, quests around the school. So go over to your journal, and you guys can see these are the quests. I have to vacuum my dorm then I have to do musical chairs and then go to the headmistress office and then your XP should go up and you have to unlock the starry awards and then when you complete as much quests as you guys can um real high basically just like counts it all up and they give you a badge for completing those amount of quests and the next badge you guys can get is the i've turned into a fresh fairy a sophomore mermaid unicorn and senior royalty badge so how to get these badges are basically royal high counts up how long do you guys have been playing royal high in the campus three guys so it's not like you have to go to any other realm that you can get this badge but it's a must that you guys have to stay in campus three for you guys to get this badge because 
it is only um, like counting your playtime and campus 3 and then that is how you guys can get these badges and I'm pretty sure I am only a sophomore mermaid right now so hopefully I can actually get the senior royalty maybe pretty soon only a few people have this badge only 93 people so they have been playing Royal High every single day and for like a really long time for them to get this badge actually so that is really good for them and now the next badge you guys can get is a Royal High Honor Rail badge. So to get this badge, just go over to the leaderboard that is right here. And if you go if you are at least like um in 500th place on the leaderboard, you can just get the Royal High Honor Rail badge and yes, yeah, so a good job to all those people that are on the leaderboard. I feel like I'll never get on the leaderboard because I'm not that good at leveling up. But um, yeah, maybe I could in the future, but good job to everyone that has this badge. And yes, yeah, so now the next badge is the Road Less Traveled. And to get this badge, you just have to go over to the front of the school. So we're going to go over there. And there is like this little forest that you guys can pass through. And when you pass through the forest, um, there is some portals that you guys can go through. And then that is how you guys can get this badge. So I'm going to show you guys how to go over there. So we are here. Here and just fly over to this area and then we're going to go over to the portals that are in the secret um, forest so we're in the forest right now and here is the portal right here there should be like this little rock and how you guys can know um, which rock it is is that this one is actually glowing so just click on it and it says unseal the portal so we're just going to unseal it okay and yes yeah, so if you guys see right here there is a portal that is going to open up and if you go to the portal you can basically like just um go to this little area and that is how you guys can get this badge and now the next badge you guys can get is the double halos badge to get the double halos badge you basically have to get um a halo two times in royal high and now the next badge is the completed um, Will Wave 2. So if you complete um, Wave 2 in Royal High, you can get this badge. And the next badge you can get is the Game Passes badge, which is if you buy a Game Pass in Royal High, which is the Color Game Pass, the Flight Game Pass, um, all of the Game Passes in Royal High, basically for each one, you can get a badge in Royal High. And the next badge is first place in musical chairs, um, musical chairs for um, 100 times. And um, yeah, you also did musical chairs for a thousand times. And how you can do this is by going over to the Royal High classes. And how to go over to the class is by going up here and you just have to go through this class over here. And then you're going to join the class in a public server and play musical chairs like a um, hundred times and a thousand times. And then that is how you guys can get this badge. And now the next badge you guys can get is a found um, 50 treasure chest in Royal High. I have found 100 chests in Royal High. I have found 200 chests in Royal High. And you basically have to find some chests that are around Royal High. I have done some chest location videos. So if you guys want to go over there and look at some, you guys can. But I'm actually just going to give you one chest so far. There was... Oh, wait. Never mind. Um, there was a chest over here during the Christmas update, but I think they took it away. But yeah, um, I have some chest locations videos on my channel. Just um, search up Royal Dior chest locations, and then that is how you guys can find those videos. And now the next one that you guys can get is blessed with five unique halos from the fountain, blessed with ten unique halos from the fountain. And how you can get these are basically if you have um, went to the fountain and you have won a halo multiple times, um, Royal High counts it up, and then that is how you guys can get these badges. They are very very rare, so good luck to you guys. And now the next badge is the breaking badge. I did a video on this, and all you have to do is go over to the headmistress office that is in the school office and if you go to the headmistress um you actually have to um oh wait you don't go to the headmistress office you have to go over to the um the the vents that are in the um 
bathing quarters and you have to go down one of the um, laundry areas and then it takes you over to the vents and then you have to actually complete this quest with your friends and then you can go over to the headmistress office and when you go over there you guys can get the break-in badge and I have a video on that so it will be in the link of this video and the link in the description of this video and lastly the badges that you can get are the I met badges so if you meet some influencers in Royal High you can get these badges like the developers um, some of the artists and stuff like that and there's also some youtuber badges as well um, that you guys can get and how to actually get them is if you subscribe to a youtuber um, they might do some streams and just join their streams and then that is how you guys can get their badges I sadly do not have a badge in real high yet but hopefully I can get one and if I do I will be doing some streams for you guys so if you're new to my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button so you guys can never miss any of my streams or videos and stuff like that and you guys can hopefully get my badge in the future but this is all for this video make sure to like comment and subscribe to join the dr army turn on notifications so you never miss a video and let's make sure to use star killer dr and for your person we're supreme we are on the road to 150,000 subscribers so i would appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video bye dr's love you and I don't need to speak to single